Hey chicas, how's everyone doing? I hope everyone is doing good. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be working with this purple design and a 3D sunflower. So then let's begin with the acrylics. We're going to be using this one which is number 24, Lila from Fantasy Nails. Also from their AB collection from Nail Supply Glamour, we're going to be using a, the color number 6. Well, the glitter number 6. Also I'm going to be using Banana which I made. And this one from Glam and Glitz, which is called Martha. So then let's begin right here, you guys. I already had my tips on. The tips that I'm using right on this particular um, video are the ones from McCart. They're the full um, coffin tips. They are so good, you guys. If you want to do like, um, like a full-on tip, um, like a... What are those called? Um... I guess like a peel and stick um i don't know but if i remember i'll put it right here you guys um but yeah they're, they're really good for that but what i did is just i apply i glued them right on the tip of my nail and i just pretended like if it was a regular tip that way it made it longer so what i'm gonna be doing you guys i'm gonna be applying this glitter all over the ring finger and the middle finger and then on the pinky, the index, and the thumb, I'm going to be applying the purple. So, um, the brush that I'm using here is the number 10 brush from Alpha Brushes. My brushes, um, my regular brushes that I use, you know, on the daily were a little saturated with acrylic. So, I, could, I wasn't able to use them. Um, so, I had to use this one, which is my least favorite, to be honest, you guys um but you guys go ahead and use whatever brush you guys have or whatever your favorite brush is my favorite brushes you guys know are the ones the number 14 by nail supply glamour and the number 14 from the one that i buy from ebay i know that the link that i've been leaving i checked it you guys uh and the seller no longer has it i have to update that so i'm gonna be adding another link onto there so you can go ahead and purchase the brush that I use. So like I said, you guys, I'm going to be applying the purple color here on the index finger, the pinky, and the thumb. Um, this purple color kind of marbles. You guys can see that it leaves like a white cast whenever I apply it to the nail. Uh, but once I brush it down, like everything's fine. <laughs> everything's cool. You don't got to worry. So yeah you see that purple cast it kind of marbles and then once i brush it down towards the nail it's gone so <clears throat> if that's a problem for you i guess you can fix it adding a little more a little more purple or and a little more clear i've seen that but I, me personally i have not done it um but to be honest you guys that's not an issue for me um there's one from glam and glitz a pink one that really marbles you guys and it's really like grainy it's really it's oh my god i hate it it's so weird okay chicas so i just picked it up and it's from their naked color acrylic collection and it's called pout p-o-u-t i do not like this color you guys i hate it i don't ever use it um i picked it up on ebay i believe i bought it through ebay um but like the moment that i was swatching it on my swatch stick for my clients to see i noticed this right away and i'm like uh -uh, i'm not gonna use it i don't ever use it you guys i hate it i hate this color um other than that all of my glamming glitz are fine they're good i love them but this one i freaking hate it you guys and i believe there's other ones from their naked collection that do this um i'm gonna try and see which ones you guys because i don't want you guys to be buying you know stuff that's not gonna work because this one you guys really honestly i do not recommend it okay so moving on i'm gonna be capping all of the nails i'm using my glam my glamming glitz i'm sorry i got stuck on that i'm using my nsi acrylic system my monomer and my clear my clear acrylic and i'm gonna be capping all of them next i'm just gonna be filing off camera and then I'm going to be, be moving on to the 3D.
okay chicas so now moving on to the 3d i'm gonna be placing down a small bead of the brown and then i'm gonna wait for it to get a little bit of like consistency to like a play-doh consistency kind of and then i'm just gonna be like with the tip of my brush i'm gonna be kind of like I don't know how to describe it but you're gonna see what I'm gonna be doing here um, that's just gonna act like if it were to be a real sunflower you guys know that a real sunflower has like little little I don't know what you call it <laughs> but you can see what I'm doing here in the video um, and then I'm gonna be moving on to making the petals of the sunflower this sunflower is super easy to do you guys if you guys haven't tried it go ahead it's really super simple to do um all you need is a brown and a yellow and you'll be good to go like honestly it is the easiest flower you could do i know it looks hard um but remember practice 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 and trust me guys you'll get it super super fast because it is super simple so all i do is place a small little bead of the yellow and then I kind of pull like downwards or outwards and then I start molding it on the side so you can see what I'm doing here and then I'm gonna be doing another one like in the center and then another one on the top just so that I can see um, like just so that there's no like bald spots on the flower if, if that makes sense um, so that's all I'm gonna be doing you guys So once I'm done with the 3D, I'm going to be moving on to the top coat. This one is the one that I've been using lately, you guys. It's the NSI Glaze and Go. And I'm going to be top coating all of the nails um, on the on the finger, on the nail, I'm sorry, with the 3D. Make sure you don't touch the 3D. I, well, you know, I guess it's just personal preference. But the without the top coat on top of the 3D, it makes it more realistic, you guys. It makes it more like a real flower. If you go ahead and add top coat to the 3D, kind to the 3D, I'm sorry, it kind of looks funky. It does not look nice at all. Well, like I said, it's just personal preference, and I've seen other texts that don't top coat them, you guys. So, um, that's just a tip that I'm giving you. If you want your 3D to look more realistic, don't top coat it. So just go around it it's as if it were um, like crystals. You you know that crystals you don't top coat them. So yeah, you guys, this is it for today. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I really did like it. I honestly liked it a lot. Um, make sure if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Welcome to the family. So don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up, a comment down below. And turn on your post notifications. That way you'll be notified whenever I upload, I upload a new video. So yeah, you guys, um, I guess I'll leave you guys for today. Uh, take care, stay safe, God bless. 
and don't go out if you don't have to so yeah you guys bye bye